Hi there. Welcome to the Small Business Coffee Break, the series where we take a few minutes to work on your business, not just in it. Today we're talking with Dr. Giselle Lopez of Dr. Lopez is In about what should I expect from a business coach? Dr. Lopez has over 17 years of experience helping small business owners and entrepreneurs reach their fullest potential. So grab a cup of coffee and let's get into it. So we've talked about a few different things that are, um, you know, what coaches might be asking you for. But if you could, could you give me like, what really should I, if I was looking for a coach, mm -hmm. what should I expect from that coach? Um, so I talk a little bit about like the expectations when working with me on my website, uh, Dr. Lopez is in .com. On the first page, there's like the basic four steps of like what to expect when mm -hmm. you're going to work with me. And first, you know, I think we talked about like a discovery or a, um, con consultation type of call, 10, 15 minutes. That's free of charge. Most coaches or, or people who offer, you know, therapy services or, or any kind of support, usually offer that. It's like where you get to interview the coach or the therapist or the person you're gonna work with. So that's an opportunity to ask questions on, on what you wanna know about this person who's gonna be supporting you. Um, then actually, you know, there's usually paperwork or forms or an agreement that happens. Um, when you're working with someone in a therapy type of approach, which is more about mental health, like things like I work with anxiety, depression, those kind of things. Um, it's really like recommended to work together at least three months to try and see before you see any any progress really. And that's gonna be usually weekly or bi-weekly basis. With coaching, um, I personally don't do packages, but a lot of coaches do. A lot of coaches are not mental health professionals as well, like I am, and I know that I don't want to tie someone down to my services, that if they feel like they're already doing great or if they feel they don't need my services or we're not a good fit, I want the person to be able to work with someone else, to you know, on, like, yeah. and, and go on. And so um, some people do offer like a package type of deal. So you are committed to working with that person for three, six months or longer, even if it doesn't go well or even if you've already achieved your goal mm -hmm. or whatever it is. Right. So having that in mind, um, but really I would work with the person either weekly, every other week, eventually monthly until we kind of, um, terminate, you know, the service once the goals and the purpose of the person seeking the service has been reached. And so you and should so, expect to have an, yeah. an idea of what you're really looking to get out of that conversation, out mm -hmm. of that when you go there. So mm -hmm. one of the things I think that, that I, you know, makes me wonder, oh, what's an executive coach do is, yeah. you know, it's like, oh, well, if I don't have a thing I want to fix, mm -hmm. well, then that relationship isn't going to be very beneficial to either of us. Well, maybe more beneficial to the coach because they're making money. But mm -hmm. um, the one of the things I should expect is to be asked, what do I want to get out of this? Right. So for me personally, when I work with clients, I always first ask them to tell me the story that brought them to seek this service. And then I always ask, what is it that you want out of this service? Mm -hmm. So those are the two main questions I is usually that, ask. And, and people should expect to be prepared to, yeah. to, get the, to, give, those, to give that answer. Mm -hmm. Let's keep the conversation going. If you have any questions you'd like to ask Dr. Lopez, ask it in the comments or her contact information is in the description. If you have any questions you'd like me to ask Dr. Lopez or any other professional in their field, my contact information is also in the description, and I'm always available via DM. See you next week for another cup of coffee and more questions answered.